The night sky is a tapestry of shooting stars, each bearing a wish upon it. But what are those wishes? People wish for money. They wish for love. Some wish to change the future, others the past. But could you really call such absurd hopes wishes? What we call wishes are, well, nothing more than delusions. That's not to say one should feel guilty for indulging in them, of course. Each and every human is, at his or her core, a being who dines on delusion. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Please allow me to rephrase. Humans are the only beings capable of self-delusion. In a way, that's a power. One granted exclusively to the human race. Delusions allow people to wallow in their most idealized, impossible dreams, free from reality. In fact, it can be said without a shred of hyperbole that this is man's single true joy. But humans, oh, they are well aware that their delusions do not in any way represent reality. And perhaps that is the most tragic indictment one could make of reality. But that's precisely the reason delusions exist. The reason they serve the function they serve. And yet, and yet, what if a delusion were to suddenly become real? Could you think of anything more wonderful? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I exist. Now, draw the curtain. Indulge in a spectacular delusion that transcends your wildest dreams. Oh, now where might this be? Come and get me! This be a delusion all its own. You like this? No problem. Like uh. Uh.
Or is this reality? Hot. Which do you wish it to be? I'll blow you away! Yeah, not so fast! You like hot? stand on either side of you. Welcome to the interstice between reality and delusion. Here, whether you exist within reality or delusion is merely a matter of perspective. So, shall we commence? Shall we descend into this delusion that presents itself as reality? And this reality that seems an illusion? Crap, crap, damn hell ass crap.
I am so late. Mizuki's going to chew my head off. And I'm going to need that to read the early copy of the latest weekly chop he got for me, too. I got to get over to Junk Street like yesterday. There's nothing like Akiba on a Saturday. It's a madhouse, sure, but it's my madhouse. Oh, hello, Master. Allow me out, Nikkei Musumeda, to welcome you to this fine establishment. Uh, what? Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. Uh, thanks. Wait, didn't this place used to be a bunny ear cafe? Like, a month ago? <laughs> that was then. This is now. Bunny ears are way out. And kitty ears are super duper in. Man, Akiba doesn't waste any time replacing little pop-ups like this, does it? It's kind of brutal. Crap, it's Mizuki. It, hello? Don't you hello me? You kept me waiting for two hours. Any sane person would have left ages ago. S sorry. Where are you anyway? Oh, I'm on my way, I swear. Sprinting down the road as we speak. Be there in five. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Five minutes. I'll be here, but I'm betting you won't. Yep, Mizuki is definitely not happy with me. Hmm, <laughs> meow. Oh, sorry, but I gotta run. I've got a friend waiting for me. Then I'll be waiting right here for you to return, Yester. <laughs> <laughs> 